you have got to be freaking kidding me! Hey! You! Yeah! You watching! Do you want to know what pisses me off? What really pisses me off? The sequel, prequel, whatever the crap it's called to that horrendous piece of crap of a movie called The Lion King 2019 Remake! God dang it! I know exactly what people are gonna are gonna be saying. They're gonna be saying. But Eric, the movie hasn't even come out yet. How can you say it's bad already? Guess what? Before the Mulan remake came out, I already knew it was going to be a piece of crap. But people were saying, Oh, Eric! Oh, Eric! I really have the feeling this is going to be the one! This is going to be the one that's going to be good! Because it's going to be different! That's right there! What you just said right there! That's the logical fallacy of appealing to emotion. You're relying on your feelings, what you feel to be true, rather than what you know to be true. You're not looking at the evidence, you're looking at your feelings. That's how people get into toxic relationships. Because they rely on their feelings, not on the evidence. And guess what? The Mulan remake got crappy reviews. I already know the movie sucks. I don't need to see it because they ruined Mulan's character arc. She's just an awesome superhero the entire time. Rather than her earning, rather than her earning that, that badass aspect to her character. So they took a dump on her character arc. Really? Really? Real? Ha-haze! Really? And I was saying, hey, I know the Lay in the Tram remake's gonna suck. Be all say, oh, well, you can't judge the movie. But then it got crappy reviews. What did I say? I told Yahoo! So what? You know there's that saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Man, I fell for the live action Disney remakes so many god darn times that the Lion King remake, that was the one that I rage quit on. Because when you ruin Lion King, that's going too far. When you take a dump on the masterpiece that's called the Lion King 1994, and now even worse, they're going to make another crappy live action Lion King movie? For Pete's sakes, just leave Lion King alone. Man, I feel like that this is the real life version of that South Park episode when Steven Spielberg and George Lucas raped Indiana Jones, but this time Disney's raping Lion King. Oh no, poor Lion King, man. I already know the movie's gonna suck because they got the same writer, the same script writer from the 2019 version. Yeah, the guy who was responsible for all the plot holes in the movie. So we already know this movie's gonna be filled with plot holes too. 
<laughs> yeah! The same Bozo McTurd who made the, the beloved characters from the original that we hold dear to our hearts out to be complete idiots in the remake? Yeah! Now he can do it again in this piece of crap! It sounds like that, that they don't even know what this movie even is! Oh, it's a sequel prequel! So wait, so... It's kind of like Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, but it's not, with Mufasa's origin story? Okay... I guess? Well, at least it's not gonna be beat for beat the same as Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, but just because it's different, I know this is going to be a big pill to swallow, but prepare to open up your mouth and swallow it. Oh, man. Just because it's different, watch my lips. Does not, which is the opposite of do, does not mean that it is going God! Yeah, remember when they did something different with Friday the 13th when they put Jason in space? Oh, because it's different, therefore it's a good movie. That's begging the question. Oh, it's realistic, therefore it's good. Really? It's realistic, therefore it's a good movie, huh? That is such a stupid argument. You wanna know why? Because by that same logic, oh, Spider-Man must not be a good movie then, because people don't really climb walls or shoot web out of their wrists in real life. Or Shrek must be the worst movie ever made because ogres don't really exist and donkeys don't really talk in real life. And that's the same stupid logic by saying, oh, the characters look so realistic. Therefore, it's good. No, it ain't. You wonder what makes a, a movie a good movie? Oh, I don't know. The script, the acting, the music, the editing. You know, how the movie is made with its story. Not if it looks realistic or not. By that same logic, find a bend one over and take a big huge dookie and record it for two hours straight. That must be a good movie then, because oh, it's realistic crap. And yeah, John Favreau's not coming back, so at least he's not gonna ruin Lion King as much as he did the first time. Well, that's good. So it may be just a little bit better, but that's still not saying much at all. That's like saying that the crap that I took last night was better than the crap that I took this morning. It's still a piece of crap. Huh, this is why that I told people, quit. Paying to see these live action crappy Disney remakes. But do people listen to me? No, of course not. Because they're too blinded by the nostalgia. And the stupid argument that I've heard for Lion King 2019 being a good movie. Oh, it made a lot of money. Therefore, it's a good movie. That's the bandwagon fallacy. Just because it's popular or it made a lot of money doesn't mean it's good. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. That's a terrible movie. That, and that made a lot of money. That doesn't mean anything. I'm just really pissed off that Disney is, is continuously trying to take a dump on a movie that means so much to me. 
I'm very passionate about The Lion King because the original means a lot to me, and this is why I'm so pissed off that Disney continues over and over again to take a, to, to, to take a crap on The Lion King and all these other classic Disney movies from my childhood for crying out loud, stop paying to see them, and then they'll quit ruining taking a crap on our childhood. I love the original Lion King so much that I named my own dog Simba. That takes a lot of love to do that. I wish, I wish I could do something about it. Wait, I wish? I wish. years. Jeez, Genie. Whatever happened to you? Okay, well, the Genie lamp usually would spontaneously would appear in front of me when I would say I wish something. Uh, not this time. Genie, I need you the most right now. been gone for this long and I haven't seen him since then he must be dead or something I need to go inside Well, hello, Mr. Eric. How are you doing today? Hey, mustache man. I haven't seen you in about a year or so. Yeah, are you still dating mustache lady? That it certainly has been a while, Mr. Eric. Well, Sally, me and mustache lady broke up. It is what it is. It just was not meant to be. She said my mustache is just not big enough. Oh well, it is what it is. So, um... Oh well, um... Sorry things didn't work out. But, uh... Hey, so... Neither of us have seen Genie. Well, I think primarily me since like 2010. I mean, we're at, I mean, the year's almost over. 
So it's almost been 11 years since he's been seen. No, Mr. Eric, I do not know what happened to Genie. I never was really associated with him. I do not know why you would think that I am. I'm sorry, Eric. I just don't know. I mean, we need him now more than ever to end the reign of these awful live-action Disney remakes. But, uh... You know, usually when I would say I wish I could do something about it or something like that, his lamp would spontaneously would appear in front of me. I mean, that happened in episode 6 and episode 9. When I did it this time, his lamp didn't show up. Seems rather odd to me. Do you know if he died? Well, I do not know if he died or not. Um, I truly wish that I could tell you, Mr. Ellick. I just do not know. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Okay. Well... Maybe or maybe not, we'll find out what happened to him. Fuck. I just miss him, Mustache Man. I really, truly do. But, what can we do, huh? I understand you miss him, Mr. Ellick, but if I'm, I'm afraid to say this, there's nothing that I could do. So. I must go now. You have a good night. I miss him too, but I can't really do anything to help you. I'm sorry, Mr. Eric. Goodbye now. I guess I just gotta accept it. Accept the fact that Genie is gone. He's not coming back. If he were to come back, he would have. His lamp would have spontaneously showed up. I need a miracle. I mean, these remakes are getting way, way out of hand. They're so terrible. They're a damper on society. They're insulting our intelligence. These remakes are so bad. So awful. And I feel like that they're contributing to America becoming so undereducated. But I guess the enemy won. The enemy won. No. Uh, no. Well, getting late. Hey, Simba. You can always cheer me up, huh, Simba? Yes. Good boy. You can always cheer me up, huh, Beagle? Yeah. Oh, man. The fact that these remakes even bear the same name as the originals is such an insult. But, what can we do, huh? <laughs> I can always count on Simba. You cheer me up. You think of those belly rubs? Oh yeah, good boy. All right, I guess I should just go to bed. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. I'll figure out something else to do. To fight against these awful, awful Disney remakes. Alexa, leave your room lights off. Okay. All right.
Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Come on, Simba. Time for bed. <laughs> All righty, Simba. Time for bed. Good night, Eagle. Mm. Mm. No, 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 This can't be. Wait, what? freaking morning it's like you've come back from the dead you know I overheard what you said and no I do not die but simply because you don't know why I didn't show up for 10 years because you should be just in a task you should be just didn't say that you wished for anything so that's why I haven't been around for so long. But it's good to see you again, and it's good that you thought about me again. Okay, well, I guess that does explain why I haven't seen you in so, so long. But it's good to know that you're not dead. I seriously got worried about you, man. So, Miss Enoch, lots has changed ever since I last saw you. But the rules have seen the same. You rub my lamp, I grant you three wishes. Only thing that has changed this time is that I cannot give you more than three wishes. That's what I must tell you. I had anger issues. I'm not that angry anymore. I said anger management, but I can see you clearly did it. Yeah, I know my anger really hasn't changed, but can you freaking blame me? I mean, these awful live-action Disney remakes have, are probably my biggest trigger, especially the Lion King one. Can you really blame me, though? So, Miss Eric, it has come to my attention. You want me to stop the reign of these terrible live-action Disney remakes, huh? Yes, Genie. We need your help more than ever right now. The world's become so corrupt because of these horrible, awful live-action Disney remakes. I need you, we need you to help restore balance in the universe. You're the only one 
who can get rid of these live, these awful, terrible live action Disney remakes. Please, Genie. Help. All right, Chanek, I gotta warn you. There's gonna be consequences. If you wish that. I just hope you, you know that, right? You know what, Genie? This wish is gonna be worth it. Just so I can rid the world. It's just so I can save the universe from these awful, awful movies. It'll be worth it. So, Genie, my first wish. I wish for these awful, awful Disney live action Disney remakes to go away. I wish that they never existed. Okay, Miss Alec. You wish. It's granted. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 These awful remakes are gone from reality. Oh, man. Whew. That takes a lot of weight off my shoulders. But, yeah. So, yeah, Jeannie. I do gotta get to work, so can we, so yeah, we're gonna have to schedule the next wishes later. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Oh man, it's a long day of work, but yeah. Oh. Simba! Alright, time to go to bed. Tomorrow I can make more wishes. Alrighty. Go, come on, Simba. Time for bed. <laughs> Time to go brush my teeth. Hey, yeah, you have a good night, dog. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? I got boobs. I'm a girl now. <laughs> no. Genie, what is this? I got chugs now! Come on, man! Well, what did I say, Mr. Anik? I told you so! There will be consequences for making that wish! If you alter reality, there's gonna be consequences! Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect, Mr. Anik? I don't think you ever have. There's a movie about it with, with Ashley Kutcher. I like Eric. But in order for me to alter me turning into a girl, to protect back to a man, it, it, it is, it's kind of complicated, Mr. Eric. But it is going to blow your mind. But there are alternate versions of you out there. Let me show you, come on. Let me show you. That Call Me Maybe song is so annoying and it came out four years ago. What? Wait. Mustache Man it was right. Why am I so pissed off? You know, I'm just wasting, you know, I have a whole life ahead of me. I'm just wasting my time being angry all the time. Why should I live an angry life? Why? How is that beneficial for me when I can be happy? You know, just I've been withholding all those the hatred inside has just made my life not happy. 
I was doing that because of me. Why go on with hate when I can go on with happiness? You know what? I'm done. Hey, mustache man. Want to have a little word with you? Carly Rae Jensen. I want to have a little word with you too. We need to talk. Whoa, 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 slow down. There's alternate versions of me? There's a multiverse? What? What? Wait, 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 slow down. No, 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 no. This, this is an acid trip, man. My mind is blown. You see, in an alternate universe, Mr. Eric, you actually control your anger. You actually let go of your anger. And then, in this universe, you never did. And, and because you made that wish, Mr. Alec, for, for no more bad live action, for no more did live action DJ remix at all, you altered this. You created the multiverse, Mr. Alec. And you made yourself into a girl. I told you so to be consequences. It's your own fault, doofus brain. No, 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 genie. This is not what I was expecting that would happen. If I wish the live action Disney remakes away. Come on, man. Can we work something out? Maybe my second wish for me to go back to being a dude? Cause this is embarrassing, man. I want to have a wiener. Well, Mr. Eric, I could, I could try and make a wish. You should have two wishes left. Are you sure you would want to wish to undo that? Because if so, it can lead to consequences, more consequences. Want to make things worse? But you see, Mr. Eric, even if you wish to go back to a to a male instead of a girl, I mean, you could have changed your name to Erica, but the multiverse will still exist. I can't undo the multiverse. It's it's too complicated, Mr. Eric. That is, that is outside of my range. I can't do that, Mr. Alec. The best I could do. Oh, Mr. Alec, you got yourself into a pickle. A real pickle. The multiverse will still exist. You will still exist. And the alternate universe versions of you, Mr. Alec, will still exist. But if you take it, but if you go back to being a male, Maybe, perhaps, we don't know what else could, could happen. Do you really think it'll be worth it, Mr. Illick? Do you really think it'll be worth it just to get rid of the live action Disney remakes? Oh, Genie, this is embarrassing. I don't want to live the rest of my life like this. I think it's worth it. I mean... <sighs> okay. Genie, my second wish, make me a dude again. All right, Mr. Enig, I just don't really think you think about the consequences of your decisions. But okay. Your wish to go back to being a male is granted. Whoa. Boobs are gone. And my dingling is back. Oh man. Alrighty. Well, 
Nothing seems wrong yet. Man. I guess see what tomorrow brings. Wait. I'm Simba now? Oh no. I switched roles with my dog? Okay, yeah, 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 Genie? Oh, Genie? This is not what I wanted, man. Okay. Genie, where are you? Yeah, Genie. Okay, I really don't want to live the rest of my life as a dog, although I love my dog, but I really don't want to live the rest of my life this way, so... Can I please have my third wish to go back to being human again? Please? What do I keep telling you, Mr. Alec? There are consequences to, to the things that you wish. So, Mr. Alec, there's only one way to undo this. You're going to have to use your third and final wish. I'm sorry, Mr. Alec. If you make that third wish, the live action Disney remakes are going to come back into existence. You kind of screwed yourself over here, Mr. Ehrlich. No, going back to being human means the live action re remakes, the live action Disney remakes are still gonna exist. No. Shoot, man, this got more complicated than I thought it would. Oh, shoot. All right, well, there must be a another way to defeat the live action Disney remakes. There has to be. All right, Mr. Genie. You're in a final wish. So I wish to go back to being human. Right now. So, Mr. Eric, your third and final wish is granted. I'm sorry, Mr. Eric, I, I cannot. Because it's because of the complicated multiverse. I cannot. I mean, I, I can, but it was severe consequences, Mr. Eric. I, I, I hope you, you're learning your lesson, Mr. Eric. But anyways, Mr. Eric, I gotta get going now. Bye-bye now. Oh, man. Whoa. Well, I'm back to being human. I guess the, the only way to fight against those live action Disney remakes is for people to finally quit paying to see them. Our, the, our biggest weapon is fighting with our wallets. Vote with our wallet. It's the only way. I gotta keep advocating. Keep fighting the good fight. Well, anyways, have a nice freaking day.